Okay, students, so let's continue. Now, we want to have a look at the trigonometric integrals, right? So, product of powers of sines and cosines, right? Given the integrals of the form of sine to the power of mx cos to the power of nx dx, where m and n are non-negative, right? Non-negative. And, um, I hope this video you don't see one. Never mind. Uh, non-negative integers, positive or zero. We can divide the appropriate substitution into three cases according to m and n being odd or even. Case 1, if m is odd, we write m as 2k plus 1 and use the identity sine squared uh, x for equals to 1 minus uh, cos squared x to obtain sine to the power of mx is equal to sine 2k plus 1x equals to sine 2xk times sine x. Maksudnya, dia buat satu bersatu. Which is equals to 1 minus cos squared x to the power of k sine x. Then, we combine the single sine x with dx in the integral and set sine x dx equals to um, negative d cos cos x, right? So, if case 2, if m is even and n is odd, is in f, uh, in uh, integration of sine to the power of mx cos to the power of nx dx, we write n as 2k plus 1 and use the identity cos squared x equals to 1 minus sine squared x to obtain cos to the power of nx equals to cos 2k plus 1x equals to cos squared x um, to the power of k cos x, right? This is equals to 1 minus sine squared x to the power of k cos x. We then combine the single cos x with dx and set cos x dx equal to d sine x, right? Uh, just now it's negative d, this one is d, okay? So in case 3, uh, if both m and n are even, in integration of sine to the power of mx cos to the power of nx ds, we substitute it. Sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x over 2 and cos squared x is equal to 1 plus 2x over 2. So don't ask me where do I get this equation because this is from trigonometric identities. Right? And then we do this because to reduce the integral to 1 in lower powers of cos 2x. Right? Right. So example, evaluate um, sine, evaluate the integration of sine um, cube x cos squared x dx. Okay, so this is an example of case, case 1 where m is equal to 3, okay, then it is odd. So now, right, sine cos, uh, sine cube x cos squared x dx, ni macam mana dia buat? So, integration dia, kan tadi dia, 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 dia asingkan, so dia pecahkan, which will be sine squared x cos squared x, this one, sine x dx, okay. So, this is actually sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x cos squared x, right? So, cos squared x is still here and sin x is still here. Okay? So, now, uh, u is equals to cos x. So, d is equals to negative sin x dx. Alright? So, it substitute it here, du. Okay? So, when u is equals to cos x, you will get 1 minus u squared, u squared. Okay? Don't, don't forget to substitute it cos ni kepada u. Okay? So, Cos, uh, here is 1 minus u squared times u squared minus du because sine x dx is du. So negative lah, don't forget the negative, right? This is what we are talking in case 1 before, the negative, right? So now, um, you uh, integrate it, u to the power of 4 minus, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yelah, u to the power of 4 minus u to the power of 2 du, you will get, okay, you will get u to the power of 5 minus uh, 5 minus u to the power of 3 um, over 3 plus c. Okay? Uh, integrate it one by one lah. Integration of this, I'm sure uh, every one of you, uh, 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 is easy for every one of you lah. Right? So now, uh, you get uh, cos, cos uh, to the power of 5x over 5 minus cos to the power of 3x over 3 plus c. So, for looking at the example, it's actually easier. Right? You, I think you get the, the concept. Okay. Alright. Now evaluate cos uh, integration of cos uh, to the power of 5x dx. Okay. So this is an example of case 2 where m is equal to 0 and then it's even and n is equal to 5 is odd. So here cos squared x uh, cos to the power of 5x dx. Alright. Apa yang dia buat? Dia pecahkan dia. Which means cos squared x. Okay. Squared. Right. Times cos x dx. Okay. So now, 
Okay, dia pecahkan ya. So, now you integrate 1 minus sine squared x. Okay, ni jangan lupa to substitute 1 to minus sine squared x. If you ask me where this come, where this is come from, trigonometry identity is darling. Right? Okay, 1 minus sine squared x to the power of, I uh, mean to the power of 2 lah. To go squared again, cos x dx. Now, you substitute it, u is equal to sine x. You will get du is equal to cos x dx. So, this one, cos x dx ni, just replace it by du. So, sine squared x is actually u, u squared. So, put it u squared here. So, 1 minus u squared to the power of 2. Okay, then buka lah dia punya uh, persamaan ni. Expand this. Okay, expand the equation here. You'll get u to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of u squared plus 1. So, please student, don't tell me that you don't know how to expand this. Okay, buat susah tu lah. Right? And then you'll get this answer. Right? And then if, if, if the integration is... You can do it is until here, so it is very easy for you to solve the equation, alright? <laughs> and then you get u to the power of 5 over 5 plus, uh, ni integrate macam biasa lah, I'm sure you can do it. And then don't forget to substitute it back into sign, okay? So, if you look at the, the question, um, probably you you think that, oh, difficult ni, susah ni, macam mana nak buat? But don't worry, as I said before, take a deep breath and then, Try, try to apa, clear your mind and then ingat uh, we have three we have um, three cases on how to find it whether it's case one, case two, case three and then you decide oh this is case two and then don't forget the trigonometric uh, trigonometric identities um, substitution then you get the answer at the end of the day okay so answer this one sebenarnya if you have a look at this it's quite easy okay and then you when you substitute it back oh it's good sound complicated but it's not complicated at all okay so now this is the example of obviously um case three because we have two example before so now we evaluate the cos uh, i mean the integration of cos to the power of f5 f5 x dx where m is equals to zero uh, it's actually even and n is equal to five is odd so now how we do it is by apa ni um, pecahkan dia again pecahkan dia again which you can Put it cos squared x to the power of 2 times cos x. So here is 1 minus sine x squared. Okay. Squared and times cos x dx. So again, substitute it. U is equal to sine x. You'll get du is equal to cos x dx. So masukkan balik kat sini. Uh, expand balik kat sini. Then you'll get the answer. Alright. Um, bila, bila you can do it until here, uh, I'm sure that I will, I'm go, it, going to have um, you are not going to have um, much problem okay to get until here so but here you need to understand how to do it okay, you need to understand which case to follow whether it's case 1 case 2 or case 3 and then don't forget the uh, trigonometric identities okay so this is the case 3 where sine uh, squared So, I think in this video, I explained the second example two times, right? Never mind. <laughs> uh, just ignore it because I'm not going to edit this video again. So, never mind. Focus on the case 3 here. So, we need to um, integrate sine squared x cos the power of 4x dx. So, this is in case 3 uh, where m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. Both are even. So, here again, this one is quite long lah to come to solve but don't worry about it it's just um a trigonometric, a trigonometric identities okay you you just apa ni tukar dia into the trigonometric identities sine squared x is actually 1 minus cos 2x over 2 cos to the power of 4x is actually 1 plus cos 2x over 2 to the power of 2 okay dx okay now here you get uh, you pecah-pecahkan dia you get uh, 1 over 8, 1 minus cos 2x uh, times 1 plus 2 cos 2x. See, dia, dia buka lah, you, I mean, I mean, you expand this equation here. You get this one. So, now you get until here, alright? And you want to integrate this. Okay, ditarik kat sini lah ni. This, so, this is how you are going to integrate it one by one. So, first is cos squared x, 2x. And the second one is cos uh, cube 2x dx. Okay, again, dia akan gunakan the trigonometric identities here and also here. This one, 
is actually the case of um, case uh, 2 okay and then dah dah expand dah add together and then you get this answer lah panjang sikit lah sini okay fit here and also here alright and then you combine it together until you get this answer okay student okay so now I'm going to show you uh, how to complete uh, how to um, solve uh, the equation example 2 uh, for A and also B okay that is the equation A add here Okay, so as you can see here, um, the equation is actually uh, the integration of 0 to pi over 4, right, pi over 4, uh, square root of 1 plus cos 4x dx. Okay, student, so alright, and then u equals to, uh, so don't forget the trigonometric identities here, uh, cos squared uh, theta is equals 1 plus 2 cos 2 theta over 2. And then cos squared 2 theta is actually equals to 1 plus cos 4 theta over 2. And then you, you take 2 up here and you get 2 cos squared 2 theta is equals to 1 plus cos 4 theta. So it's actually this one. So you put this as here. Okay. So now you get 2 cos squared 2x. Alright. So now you uh, asingkan dia. Okay. You can take out the uh, apa nama ni punca kuasa dua ni punca kuasa dua dua to to uh, square root of two as a constant. Okay, you just need to complete cos two x dx. Okay, and then and to complete it here. Okay, this is just like ni lah division lah. I already taught you how, and you get the answer. At the end of the day, you get um, square root two square root two over two. Okay, so then all right now. Uh, use trigonometric identities, alright. Um, tangent for tangent to tangent to the power of four x dx, okay. And then use trigonometric identity as tangent square x is equals to secant um secant x secant square x minus one. So we use integrate by parts here, okay. And then and tangent uh, this one ni pecahkan lah kepada tangent square x times tangent square x. Tangent square x times um, uh, ambil identities ni secant square x minus 1 dx and then you bukakan dia punya ni satu you ambil tangent square x times secant square x dx minus um, satu dalam ni kali dengan tangent square x which is here okay now you apa ni um, um, apa ni gantikan balik tangent square x ni kepada dalam ni you get another one alright so now you get this one minus secant squared x dx uh, plus dengan dx. So now okay, yang yang uh, integration of dx ni is easy lah. You will get x okay. So how to complete this one? So now you let u is equal to tangent x, du is equal to secant squared x dx okay. Ni boleh dapat daripada uh, apa uh, slides integration two huh? if I'm not mistaken integration integration one, right? Then you ni lah substitute it. You get um u squared du which is actually this one all right and then um, minus secant squared x dx plus dengan ni lah so secant x squared ni actually is actually tangent x okay so yang dapat benda ni is actually u over 3 u to the power of 3 over 3 so you substitute it back you get tangent uh, qx dx okay Nak tahu explain kat you all ni dalam macam ni Tak tahu you all faham ke tak Tapi saya harap you faham lah Sebab nota ni kita boleh uh, You boleh apa nama ni um, Patah balik-patah balik kan So I don't think that you have problem to understand the notes Okay student So I'm going to transition it back Okay to the powerpoint Okay Okay and also I will leave you example 2C uh, and I want you to try to complete by yourself. Okay, this time I'm not going to give you quizzes. I hope that you are happy uh, because this is one hour, uh, one hour class. But please have a look on the, ni ya, please have a look on the questions um, so that, apa ni, nanti you tak ketinggalan lah. Okay, kalau you buat, you buat example 1C tadi and also example 2C tadi, nanti you can keep up lah your understanding on this topic, right? 
Okay, so this is actually the area between curves. Um, I, 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 uh, okay, because this is already 15 minutes, I'm going to stop this recording and we're going to record to a new video. Okay, see you soon.